All right, so welcome to the live trading webinar here uh, at Bookmap. This is the advanced education you get. Uh, this will be live forward-looking analysis, uh, which do Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, 10 a.m. Tomorrow, JTrader, live trading with stocks, uh, and Scott with live trading on Thursday with futures. Um, we'll go over the disclosure, and it's just a second here. Let's just dive right into these markets and see what's going on here. Uh, all right, so we have... Um, well, I mean, we've got, you know, all sorts of things going on, uh, as we know, uh, geo geopolitically. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of data this week as well. We have non-farm. Uh, we have ADP tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we also have, uh, I think, some Fed speakers, et cetera, uh, going on. Uh, so um, uh, actually, you know, qu quite, a, quite a bit uh, going on here. So, you know, we have to be very aware of that uh, environment here uh, in trading. And, and be very, very careful. Uh, there can be huge moves um, out of the blue. Uh, and you should, uh, uh, you know, look at your risk assessment, uh, how, how you want to deal with that. It's always a question. Uh, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, take a look here, um, maybe cover a little bit of yesterday as well, but uh, uh, look at some higher time frames uh, here. Uh, looking at the daily on the left-hand side, we can see the, uh, the move up above these swings up here. Uh, and uh, you can see the uh, rejection immediately here. All right, so on the hourly here in the middle, uh, and here on the left-hand side, interesting uh, mark, uh, structure here on the 15-minute chart on the on the right-hand side. Uh, you can see that we made this kind of equal high up here. Okay, we were looking for that yesterday and testing these areas up here. Okay, this 43.80, it went slightly above it you know, knock, knock some stops or at least hunt that area. And then we see the, uh, the move to the downside. Okay. This is, this line was drawn yesterday. Uh, it was, it has nothing to do with, uh, uh, lining up with the, the data here this morning or today, um, is because of this, um, swing here. That's why we put this line in and that is why we also have this line in down here. It kind of matches up with these areas in here. Uh, and, um, yeah, we can add probably another one up here uh, if we can come come back up and retest some of these areas here. But uh, we're making a lower high, a lower low, and a lower high here. All right, look on the daily chart. Okay, we rejected up here. We're seeing sellers come in now. So uh, on the hourly, we're kind of hanging out in the middle here, and also in the 15 minute, we're kind of hanging out in the middle. Uh, you know, we we see a cluster of activity down here, and then the breakout. We are retesting that cluster right now. So uh, let's take a look at Bookmap and see if we're going to bounce off of this area and come back up into this range up here. Okay, that would be between, this is the S&P 500, 43, uh, 45 on up to about uh, 43.73, something like that. Uh, or are we going to break down into uh, these lows and into this area down here? Okay, so that's what we want to... Uh, um, Oh, okay, Chris, we've been watching the uh, YouTube videos and good stuff. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, if you guys don't know where those are, let me let me just show you briefly um, the streams here. Um, uh, so uh, these are recorded, uh, and this is where they are. So go to YouTube, our YouTube channel, and you'll see it on the top here, uh, live streaming recordings. Okay, so they're, they're all in here, right? So, uh, okay, so we know what levels we're looking at here. We're going to look at the order flow now. Uh, at these specific areas and levels uh, in Bookmap, and we want to know what's going on at these levels. Okay, in fact, let me—I'm um, going to create a few more in here, just for kicks. Forty-three, forty. Okay. And up here at 43.73. Okay. All right. So we got our we got our uh, our lines in here. Uh, let's look at the order flow around them. So we're just testing this one at 43.40 right now in Bookmap. Let's take a look. Uh, we broke out here. We can see the structure. Okay, so we're looking at the same ideas here we just looked at on the higher time frame. And this is why we're looking at it. Look at the breakout. Look at the volume. Okay, where did it go? It went up into these areas of high liquidity and it kept on climbing up into 4370. Okay, a little bit higher. 
uh, didn't make 75, but it came uh, pretty close. Uh, and now we're selling off and we're selling through this area here, looking for these sellers to continue. Now, it looks like pretty, pretty strong selling here. All right, so let's see if we can get down to about here, this swing, this area around uh, uh, 36 and then maybe 30. Okay, there's liquidity down there here at 30. All right, so we've already had this move to the upside. We're seeing pretty strong move to the downside. Look at the dots in here. Okay, here's our 930 cash open and the move to the upside. Okay, so uh, now we're seeing, we're below the cash open and we're seeing a lot of selling here. So I'm looking for in the order flow here, continuation uh, to the downside. This is the picture we're getting here from the order flow. Uh, and uh, now we're going to mix that with our higher time frame here. So we're looking to see if we can break this 40 area here back down into about, uh, uh, we said about 30 because that's where the liquidity is. Uh, but on the higher time frame, we're looking around 19 to this, uh, uh, or let's, say, let's call it 20 and then 10 basically. Okay, 43.20, 43.10. And let's zoom a little bit vertically here and start to match that up. We have liquidity here at 20 and not much down here at 10. Okay, and we're looking for these sellers to continue. Okay, and so far so good. So sellers are uh, are moving the market here. We're looking for continuation. Okay, we just spiked below 40, and we're getting a little bit of a bounce here. But sellers are still in control until we see something different. Good morning, David. Um, all right, so uh, let's uh, let's take a look at this here and go go through our scenarios in the order flow as well here. Uh, we're not looking to get shaken out of this here uh, unless we see like lots of buying up above our, uh, uh, the first stop would be this 40, 42 and a half here. And we got to see some pretty significant buying above it here. Okay, if we do, then I'm looking for it to come back up to 43.50 here. Okay, so we're looking for that scenario here. Okay, we went through, we're sell side until we see something different. Let me go through the risk disclosures as well, uh, and uh, just to, to go through that. Uh, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Okay, it's all for education here. That's what we're here for. Uh, and how to read uh, uh, order flow uh, and put this into uh, a cohesive uh, trading plan or um, to um, optimize your, your trading plan. Okay, so let's see if we get these buyers here. They're trying, they're trying. They're trying to break this small structure here. All right, second scenario, well, first scenario is downside. Second scenario is we get our, our buyers up here and we get a move back up into about 50. Okay, we're starting to kind of break this structure here, or at least test it. Uh, I'm still kind of, um, I mean, we'll look for that, but I'm still thinking there's going to be sellers in here. We're going to exhaust out. We can see we're already kind of exhausted out a little bit here. We don't see buyers up here. Now we got to see sellers down here. There they go. There they go. Okay, so now we're looking for continuation. We're looking for that for these uh, these sellers to hit the bid down into our previous levels. So 30 is the first stop. There's the liquidity down here, uh, and then we're looking for our 10 and our 20. Okay, so uh, this is we're seeing some buying coming in here. This is not where we want to see buyers though, uh, and it's it's still bouncing. Interesting. Uh, the buyers here, we, this is this is not strength here. Um, uh, typically, typically, this is not the kind of buying you want to see here. You want to see that kind of buying up here for the breakout. Okay, when they're back down in this area here, uh, yeah, I mean it depends. Like if we get the buyers up here now, then then we've got buying strength. Okay, but usually when we see this kind of buying down here and you don't get buyers back up here look for these sellers to just annihilate these these buyers in here just annihilate them uh, and you'll see a nice stop run to the downside because this is this is weak here or 
I shouldn't say mixed terminology here. Um, this is this is an area where they're buying like in 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 a, in a position of weakness. A okay? position of strength would be. Boy, it really mixes terms. Uh, so anyway, like a, a, a position of strength, I'm just going to go with it. Um, if we see the buying up here, uh, then it, it's pretty, it's powerful. Uh, they can move it. Okay, not down here though. Here, they're like kind of hoping and praying uh, that this goes up. Yeah, yeah, let's let's kick this guy. I, I don't know how this um, person that got at everyone here... Um, I don't know. Sam, are you in, in here? If you can maybe take a look at that. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to boot him. All right, and let's delete this as well. Okay, interesting, really tricky order flow in here, guys. Um, so uh, we're up to that uh, 4350 as I was trying to boot this guy out. Um, I'm still still going with it here. I do not see buyers up here until here. Okay, now they're in a position of strength, and and we got the move. Okay, is that is that kind of clear? I mean, I know this is tricky in here, very very tricky. Uh, typically, when we see the buying down here, they 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 just get annihilated. Uh, you'll get the selling down below it. These guys are like on their back foot already. Uh, and we get really nice move back down in these in, in these lower levels here. Uh, instead, we're looking and we're watching at this top edge here. Uh, if we get the buyers here, then we're going to get the move up. Okay, we did get the buyers in here, uh, and we did get the move up. Right. So uh, very tricky stuff. Um, but uh, you know, this is what we're looking for, and 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 these were the scenarios we were looking for in the order flow. Okay. And it makes sense. If let me let me go through it. If you you know if you guys uh, uh, want me to go through it in more detail here, it's understanding the volume in this area here, uh, and also the the you know the supply and the demand here as well. Um, you know, can they chew through this uh, liquidity in here? They did, uh, and they they came up and tested this forty three fifty. All right. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty tricky uh, in there. Uh, and um, uh, nonetheless, uh, the scenario did play out. Uh, it was our third scenario uh, that we're looking for here. Let me see. Um, higher time frames. <laughs> okay, okay, Chris, yeah. Um, uh, Oil's at 102, okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is odd stuff in here. Um, we have still made a lower high here. We have not bre breached this one yet. Uh, and uh, however, in this scenario, I'm I'm looking for them to breach it uh, and and hit this 55 level up here. Okay, the buyers came in, so and we're up here. We're still seeing buying here. Okay, if we get our buyers here at 51 and a half, we should come up to 55 and maybe 60. Okay, so that's that's the scenario now. Uh, we see some strength coming in. Okay, even this is if this is turns into like a bull flag, all it means is like strength came in, we went sideways, and we're looking for continuation. That's it. Okay, and this playing out, we're already at 55. Okay, we're already testing the swing here. You know, I was thinking yesterday about the, the webinar, uh, and uh, um, I know you guys, in, in with Tom, and I don't know if Tom's in here or not, um, but uh, uh, you, uh, I know you guys look at the, or Tom looks at the, uh, the um, initial balance, initial high, initial low, um, uh, initial balance high, initial balance low. Uh, 
and and then I I was talking about it as um, well. What is it? What what does it refer to? Um, you know, it's the first hour of trading, and why is it important? Um, and you know, just because it's called the initial balance doesn't mean anything. Why is it important? Uh, this is what's key. Uh, and uh, you know, you can come in here and you can you can um, uh, you know mark it up in Bookmap. Um, you know, for let's see, 9:30 here to you know 10:30, basically. Um, we're not there yet, okay? Um, but, uh, uh, you know, we're looking at the volume within this area here okay? and understanding, like, uh, you know, what consists of this first hour of trading, okay? Where are the highs? Where are the lows? Where's the, the, the point of control, et cetera? Uh, and then, you know, you're, you're kind of um, looking at the rest of the day based on this information, okay? The reason that is important is because there is lots of volume within the first hour. That's what's important. Uh, and uh, that is no different though in concept in order flow here than any other volume cluster of high volume. So it's the same concept. So when we look at volume uh, and uh, being initial balance or let's say you can even call it like a you know a, a micro composite uh, uh, initial balance or something or you know whatever you want to call it the concept is the same uh, that you're looking at the um, uh, heavy volume and then how does the market react to that heavy volume okay so we saw this move to the downside and we're, we're looking for it to continue until we see something different uh, and uh, then we did see something different and we're trying to read it in here uh, and uh, we, we saw this here, buyers on their back foot here, just ready to get, you know, slaughtered. Uh, and it's like, whoa, okay, that's weird. They're back up here, but we still need to see buyers up here. And then finally we got it. Then we're looking for 50. Well, 50 was the first stop. 55 was the second. 60 was the third. Okay, and we're, we, just, we just came shy of 60 up here. All right, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, let's just take a look at some big clusters here. There's a big cluster of selling down here, okay, into high liquidity down here. We also have icebergs down here. You know, we have actually a lot of confluence. I didn't go over the icebergs earlier. Uh, and uh, pretty significant, I mean, like 1,500 uh, in this area here. Uh, and, uh, and then we had the buyers come in here, the aggressive buyers that lifted it. So they're going to lift it back up into first was the point of control. That was at, at 43.50. Uh, and then, uh, and then we see the continuation. Let's see, uh, uh, David, use initial. You need the opening ranges for range extensions, uh, and later the IB. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Uh, it's just the, the the concept is is really about that that volume smile at the open and then at the close. You know, when you when you look at uh, uh, your um, uh, here, maybe I can show it here in rhythmic R Trader. Here's your smile here, right? Here's your smile here, uh, and uh, it's just a, you know tons of volume in the in the opening, and then it kind of you know uh, curtails you know uh, into the afternoon, and then it picks up in the afternoon into the close, and and then usually in the close, uh, you know you can see in some of these closes here like a massive volume uh, trading compared to the open, right? And now that's going to have an impact on the next session, uh, and uh, so yeah different ways of understanding like all of these transactions uh these these are important timing uh timings in the market okay just like we know that 11 30 uh east coast time that's the european close uh and uh, we want to pay attention to that uh there's volatility during that time all right so that's that's what matters here uh and uh, uh that's why we look at when we can look zoom into the order flow here on these much smaller time frames you can use the same concepts and that's the point i want to get across okay so let's take a look at what's happening now okay so uh boy it's really kind of all over the place here uh at the moment <coughs> lots of buyers lots of sellers and uh, it's uh, we're looking at range bound activity right 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 now uh, in this in the order flow here okay buyers lifted it here okay we know that 
uh, and uh, they took control. Now we, we can take a look at this uh, in here. Um, boy, there's uh, yeah, this is kind of an odd session already. Um, but uh, the same concept we we're looking for here with this buying down here, not good, right? Like for the buyers, uh, typically, um, uh, you know, you want to see sellers down here and then for them to move it uh, uh, to the downside. We saw buyers in here. Uh, usually, uh, uh, you know, you'll see sellers come in on the other side and, and like I said, just, uh, just slaughter these guys. Uh, let's look at the, the volume that was in control in this move here uh, to the downside. Okay, so it was this, this uh, area here and then our breakout. Wait, sorry guys, I'm kind of all over the place this morning. Um, it, now here's our structure, okay? But this is where they dropped it from here. Now the question though is, and the point I want to get to is, where is all of this sell volume taking place? Is it consistent? Is it moving the market away from an area with consistent buying or selling? No, it's not. I mean, they started here, but most of it is down here, right? So when we see it down here, in this area here, when the buyers can get back up above it, we've covered this many times. Uh, you know they can they can move it, uh, and they did here in this case, All right? So the selling is down here. Now let's look at the buying in here. Note how it is consistent, uh, and all the way through, right? So this is where they took control uh, of the market. And, uh, and we, we know that it, we got consistent buying and a consistent move, too, uh, to the upside. So that's why we're looking for, uh, once it hit 50, we're looking for 55, and then we're looking for 60. So now let's take a look at what's happening uh, after that move. Okay, they're, they're still in control, basically. Buyers are still in control. Uh, we see selling, selling coming in here. Okay. And they, they were able to move it down a bit. Okay. And then buyers are coming right back in here. I mean, we're really all over the place right now. Okay. Here come the sellers. They're going to test down to here. Now let's see if they can get through it too. Now typically on this kind of move here, uh, you know, we, we look for buyers to support it here. Do we see buying support it? No. Not right now. I don't see I don't see them on the bid here supporting it. They're down here at 40, so I'm looking for sellers to try to drive this back down to 40 and below. Okay, typically we look for them for the bounce here, and we look for buyers to support it here. Okay, we're getting a little bit. Okay, now we've retested where the selling came in here. All right, so this is our low volume pullback right here, looking for another. Uh, move to this 44 area and then the break. Okay, sellers, let's see it. Now they should be able to break it and hit 40. The book isn't really helping us much in here. We're not getting, we're, we're getting a little bit on the bid actually here. The book is starting to help the buyers here. It's still a low volume pullback. The the selling once we get it back up above here on buying though, look out. Yeah, here they come. Right. So sorry about that. That was a, a little bit late, but uh, there's this this is the same same concept again in the order flow. This is where the selling came in. Now, if the selling really came in here and was consistent. Uh, you, you we'd still be um, uh, bearish here. And the selling came in here and we're, we got buyers back up above it. Good morning, Dove. Uh, yeah, Vicky, the, there's there's webinars currently going on. Okay, you should see it in the uh, the voice channel. All right. 
see, notice how this becomes that pivot point we always talk about. Okay, so this is where that selling came in. Retest here. I'm still looking for continuation. They should be able to do it. They didn't. We saw it. We were looking for the order book and a little bit of help in here. They only came in a little bit later, and then we got we the buyers starting to come in. We got some help here, and then we came back up and retested here. This is re, this is a tricky environment. Uh, we've we've seen this now a few times. Okay, but our pivot point is still here. Let's draw it up. Okay, we're looking for sellers below it or buyers above it. Okay, so let's see if we get our sellers below it now. Yep. Okay, so seller now now we're looking for sellers to explore and break it, break the low here at 44, and they should be able to hit 40. And they're struggling. Sellers are still struggling in here. Well, they traded into this liquidity here around 45 or 46. Yeah, sure. We can we can take a look at crude, uh, Alan. I mean, this this market is really all over the place here. And there's some buying strength up here as well. Yeah, we're looking for buyers to break out, actually. Can they get through this 51 area here? They got to get through that, that liquidity there. And they did. All right, so they should be able to. They should be able to move this higher now. Thirty-five. At least thirty-five. Of the, I would imagine they'd be shoot, shooting for. Not much liquidity there. It's up a little bit higher. Fifty-five. Yep, there they are. Fifty-five. And then sellers come in and slam it. Okay, guys, this is the environment that's going on in here. It's tricky. Sellers just, someone just came in and just sold. You know, they just dumped on it. You know, they, they, this this is, uh, we see a stop run in here. Let's see how many are stops in here, actually. Um, because I imagine that most of it is new selling. And then we'll see a stop run at the very end. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is new selling. They're 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 uh, knocking some stops out along the way, and then everyone's getting slipped down to this area. The stops only thirty nine, um, but uh, that's the concept here. Okay, and now we're back down again. We're back down below our pivot and looking for the sellers to hit it hard, hit it hard here. We we're looking for someone to take a move here. Uh, now the, the the you know that first hour is over, okay. You know over here actually, okay. Now we're looking for someone someone to move this market here. Now who's gonna who's gonna take control here? Buyers tried up here. They got up to 55. That was it. Sellers should be able to take this to 40. Here they go. Now they, they should be able to move it 40 37 let's let's see the bigger move here I think they got it um, they've got uh, what do we got on our side here well the, the, this guy disrupted everything over here uh, we even see more on the bid here and they the sellers took them on here yet again Boy, and look at the buyers fight it this is really really tricky Bouncing off of 40 our 47 line here though. All right, if we get our sellers here at 44 yet again, we got we got 40, we got 37. We got to get our sellers right here. So it has to happen right here, right now. Now we're not getting much help out of the order book. Again, 
Uh, it's going to be the aggressor here that's going to move this. We, we're looking for a push, though, some sort of bias here from the order book. So here, they pulled here, they added here. That didn't help. All right, sellers, let's see. This is this is do or die right here at this 43.75. And they didn't show up on that rotation. In fact, we're getting buyers yet again, yet again. All right, so, yeah, they're trying to move it. All right, all right, Alan. I, I'm looking for the big move. I hear you. I know I know you're, you want to look at crude. Um, I, I just think we're going to get a big move here, and we're waiting and watching. And it's going to be a good one. Uh, you know, this is really, you know, really back and forth in here. But someone's going to really take control here, I imagine. Yeah, I'm, I'm still looking for these sellers to hit it hard. They're 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 starting to do it. They should be able to. They should be able to do it. They've they've got it. Sellers have this right now. Yep. So let's uh, let's see them get down to this. Four, well, we're just about down at forty, but the uh, the swing low here is uh, is here, thirty seven, and there's liquidity in front of it here. Yeah, Alec. Yeah, there's, there's yeah some pretty big days. Absolutely. And you know this is kind of a this is a really kind of jumpy market right now, as you can see. Uh, you know this it's really been back and forth, and this is pretty typical um, uh, in a geopolitical context. And and also too, you know, we're looking for a little bit of help for the from the order book in here. No one wants to take the risk. Uh, this guy did up here take some risk, uh, here and here, and here. So the, uh, there's there's a little bit, you know. They they took on some risk uh, in the order book, and you know this is where we learn from these guys in here. Uh, get the, get a feel for the market and its appetite for buying and selling in here. All right, I'm. We just we came back up and retested our pivot line here that we drew in. Uh, we're still below it, so we're still we're still sell side basically. Uh, not by a. <laughs> I mean, there's more selling volume in here. So and we made a lower high here and a lower low. So I'm still looking for sellers here. Again, back at our 43 level, 43 or 44, looking for these sellers to come in right here and hit 40 they ha we have not hit 40 yet came close but we didn't hit it okay well we got structure now on our side as well so sellers came in couldn't get back up above our pivot we made a lower high and a lower low we're looking for the continuation on the sell side here finally we're getting it okay we got 40 looking for 37 uh, that'll be the low of the cash session and looking for continuation Sellers are, 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 are trying to move it here. Okay, there we, there we go at 30, 37 and a half, 38. And they should be able to move it. Should be able to move it lower. We're still looking for our bigger move here on our higher time frame, right? We're looking for this move to unfold here, break this 40 level, and come down into these other swings down here on this 15 minute chart. Okay, back down at about 20 we said 20 and then we said 12 
or we said you know 20 and 10 basically just to try to keep it simple here um and looking for it okay sellers have moved it outside of the range now we see some iceberg buying but uh you know this is secondary or tertiary okay we're, we're look at the order flow first okay when the icebergs line up with the order flow that's when we we, we got something Okay, sell side, guys, like just, it, they're, they're hitting it. They're moving it. Okay, it took a while to, to figure it out here. I mean, this was really back and forth in here. Okay, nice stop run. Let's see if we can still get continuation after the stop run. Okay, we got to go through the secondary scenario, though. Okay, and th that would be... The massive stop run here which it is um, uh, and then uh, buyers back up above it here but we don't see that scenario unfolding yet so we're looking for stop run and continuation okay so now we're at our 31 level looking for 30 uh, our 20 level what about our 10 level down here well we, we don't even have anything at 10 uh, they're down here at the figure uh, just below the figure of 4300 so we see 700 contracts 732 contracts down there all right guys so yeah we're trending um, so looking for it to continue all right we're going to get our pullbacks here but we know where we're, we're looking for in our pullbacks uh, where that selling came in Okay, here or here. Okay, so 36 and a quarter or 34. 35, 36, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Alec, I, I like it. Okay, okay, well, let's let's take a look at our crude oil. Guy, I mean, I, as far as I'm concerned, this is kind of on autopilot, um, looking for the continuation, um, you know, we know what to look for in small structure to start to break um, and we we look for uh, 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 buyers above certain areas uh, on these pullbacks here but sellers are firmly in control and moving this market okay so this will give us a break here looking for continuation we'll we'll jump over to crude though and take a look here and see what's going on okay I got the J contract here 104 um, well, looking for 105, basically. Sim simple as that, Alan. Yeah, this is a nice little move down. We're already back up above it on buying strength, looking for the strength to continue right up on uh, on up to 105. So there's a dollar move for you right there in crude. This is this is moving nicely, huh? Uh, this is an important pivot here in crude. You can you can see it. Uh, look at all this liquidity here on the bid. I'm sorry, on the offer. Transacts. They flip. We even see the kind of um, move to the downside. It rejects. Comes back up and we get our buyers above it. So we're looking for that continuation on up into 105. And they, here's the flip here. Now they're on the bid here at 102. This again is more like autopilot move here. Just looking for 105. This is a strong move. And I don't see any reason why it would pull back right now. It, it wants to continue. And and sellers, why would sellers fight this, you know? I mean, there'll be some profit taking, that's for sure. And that's probably some right there. Okay, look at the book supported here. Now, what's the reaction to that book in here? Okay, we should find more buyers. It should repel sellers. They're even getting more aggressive here. Well, we found a few sellers. Okay, now watch these buyers come in over that, though. Get these guys going the wrong way. 
interesting okay they took these guys on at 104.15 okay well, maybe they'll come back and retest 104 here yeah okay and then look at them buy off of 104 wow interesting order flow really interesting stuff here looking for the continuation guys pull back to 104 this is where that strong buying came in strong consistent buying looking for 105 104 50 105 all right we got to go through it just in case i mean like uh what if we get sellers down below 104 right this is all trap trap volume on the buy side here Okay, maybe we'll come back down to about this 10. Uh, I like this swing here and this breakout here. Okay, and there is there is liquidity down here at 10360, but primary scenario is is to the upside. Boy, that's nasty. Look at that uh, liquidity in here, and we found some sellers. Interesting. Still looking for buyers above it though, our pivot. And then right up to 104.50 here. Okay, we should we should be able to get these buyers up to at least back up to the swing in the 104.50 here and this this is it right in here offer is pretty strong here can't get through it and this guy came came in here layered in here one after another Okay, and very, it took very little risk doing that, even flipped. This is this is one individual actor in here. Really interesting stuff, guys, today. I, I Just fascinated by this. See how he comes in one after another like this? And then look how he, he kind of scales out like that. But he's pulling, adding here, pulling here, adding down here, pulling here, adding down here, etc. Right? Same, same, same actor. It looks, looks to me like it is. So, yeah, I know a lot of traders don't like the crude, crude market and gold. It is so manipulative. This shows some of that. I, I feel. So, and we're right back to it of of one hundred four fifty and and one hundred five now. We're back up above. And this is like a kind of a spoof in here. It looks like to me. It's crazy that uh, it has this much of an effect on, uh, on the market in here. Nonetheless, I mean, this is this is our area. Like, th this is what I meant when I kind of started off uh, the the webinar here. Uh, this whole area here is kind of like uh, think of it like um, the same in concept of that um, initial balance volume, right? Strong move. This is the volume. We're, this is the volume in study right here. Okay, these are the guys that are in control in this move here. So we're looking for um, you know more and more buyers here. We're, we're finally getting them now. Okay, and now they should be able to hit. They should be able to break out. They should be able to hit our 104.50 and then and then 105. <laughs> Alec, um, well, you know what? The the, the I think um, uh, you're saying here that uh, this is order flow that makes you not want to use order flow. Um, the um, the key is I think um, wait until you get clarity. That's it. Just 
when we get clarity and you know we're we're sure on a move then then we've got something you know uh, and we look for that and that's through study uh and uh, uh understanding exactly what we're looking for and, and then and then utilizing that okay 15 percent um on the halt here and we're on one minute or so. All right, so let's let's jump back to this S and P and see what's happening here. Boy, we didn't get down to twenty. Um, we're we're back up to test this uh, drop in here in this strong volume. Uh, this is a, again, this is a low volume pullback. No no question. Okay, strong volume here, uh, and then uh, this is the the volume. Uh, coming in here, we can see that it's a lot less. Even though you can see them coming in here, you know, and, and the move here, strong strong buy volume in this little area here, it's still a lot less than the volume over here, though. Right? So now we're going to look for a move back down below this area here at 33 and continuation on the sell side. This is a low volume pullback. Okay? Understand the distinction here? Now we we've seen it many times that even a low volume pullback it doesn't really matter if you can get the buyers back up above here, right? Or or you know even even here basically so either here or here I like this one better, uh, and you can see they tried they tried and they failed. Okay, sellers are in control here um, now if we do get massive buyers back up above here they're going to take control of the area uh, and they'll be able to move it back up into not only 40 but also 42 maybe uh, uh, 47 swings or, or 50 back to the, the half figure up here and right, this is this is wicked stuff today like uh, this looked like a sure move on down to our levels uh, on our higher time frame Right, and, and they're fighting it in here. Um, this looks this looks good in here, though. I mean, it's you know looking for this this uh, this twenty. Or is it fifty? Yeah, so, somewhere around twenty, and then somewhere around uh, ten. Okay, and the figure the figure is a little bit below that here, of course. Uh, it's kind of a no man's land down here. On our fifteen minute chart. Let's go back to our crude. Okay, crude made it made it up to 105, just just shy of it. Okay, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that this is exactly why I like to front run uh, these areas here. I mean, it still may hit 105, right? But I would be out, and I don't have to sweat it any longer. Oh, it went to 104.99 exactly. Really? Did it really? Well, the, look. No, yeah, a few transacted up there too. Yep, indeed. Right to it. One one tick shy of this 188 here. Uh, 188 contracts up here at 105. One tick shy. So Alan, you got your three your three uh, um, covered up here, right? Too fast. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, um, 
Boy, this has just been a really, really kind of funny session. I mean, like, uh, um, nonetheless, like this was our bigger picture in the order flow, and it, and, and it worked out. It worked out nicely. I mean, we knew that this was strong buying, and uh, the S and P was dropping. Crude should go up. Uh, it did um, in this kind of geopolitical environment, uh, and um, uh, it took it took a while. And then these this kind of spoofing and this kind of activity, you know, there's some nasty stuff in here. Uh, and, uh, you know, nonetheless, like or this is, you can see like, even with like this kind of activity, order flow rules, uh, order flow works first. A lot of times, like in the S and P in the order flow, uh, when we see, um, like a, this large seller came in and just kind of dumped over here, he disrupted everything, uh, right in here, I think is what we covered it. Um, and because um, uh, buyers took took it from here on up, and then the seller came in and dumped it. We ne we knock we never got up to we just shy of this one. I'm sorry, this 4360 area, and then a seller. And th this started to change the environment here. But it takes a little while here. One player, like you know, unless it's a massive player that can do it many times over and kind of turns the market, then yeah, it's possible. Um, uh, but uh, uh, it takes many attempts here. Uh, you know, even J Trader, when he we found a, just a beautiful example of some spoofing um, in Apple, uh, and it had an effect immediately on the market. But it came back down and retested that area again. So you know, the, the order flow still like you know one one player can't. They, I mean, larger players like it, it takes them a while to kind of. Um, uh, you know, get the signals out and 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 get you know people to look at the market in a different way. I th I I think. Okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Trader, for the, uh, yep, circuit breaker information. So notice the, the difference in here again. Um, just wanted to point out like that, that selling and that moving away from this area, they still remain in control here. Here's, here's where it was different, right? This area here, sellers do come in. Now this is not that strong, consistent selling in here. All of the majority of that selling was down here. And this is where they can get upended. And this was tricky in here because it, you know, I was looking for these buyers to get upended in, in the continuation. But no, they, we got the buyers back up above it, above the majority of this volume here. And so this this is where you know it dropped, and this is where we see the structure. That's true, but the majority of the selling is down here. This is different here. Majority of the selling is up way up here and consistent uh, to the downside, right? So this was a low volume pullback here. And we're see, we see we're back down here again. So looking for continuation yet again here. Looking for more sellers down here. Okay? One big move, a pullback, low volume pullback, even though this is tricky in here. And you see like a little micro, it's not really micro structural. It would be erroneous to, to call it that. But you can see a structure here and a structure up here, and then another break back down. Now we're looking again for our sellers to break back down into our 20 level on our higher time frame. Okay, sellers still in control. Okay, we didn't get the sellers down here at 27. Okay, we came back up and retested here. We're going to look at this smaller structure in here and try to see if... Uh, uh, sellers uh, take control again this rotation
and they're not they're not we're, we're getting more buyers back up here okay all right well buyers ought to ought, they ought to be able to lift it and and break this small structure maybe maybe just up to here though i mean you know maybe maybe not much in here and this is advertising in here it's like buy me Okay, so they they did they did test it up here. We're still bearish though. We're still bearish. And what what's the volume like in here? Yeah, yeah I mean this is where the selling came in. It's still it's still dominating here. It was countered with some you know some buying as well. So that's why we're getting this back and forth in here. Okay, it's a little different. It's not the low volume you know beautiful low volume pullback we're looking for, but the structure is still bearish here so far. Yeah, the, uh, Vicky, I'm talking about that right now, uh, about this, um, you know, understanding the, um, uh, the, the the strong move and then um, the low volume on the pullback uh, within a strong move. See this strong volume just came in here, but they didn't. They were unable to break the structure. But I, I don't like it now as a low volume pullback now. Or, you know, I mean, it's, it's this is a lot more complex in here now. So you know, I, I think the buyers can can lift it to thirty seven and forty here. And here, here they go. Okay, we didn't we did really didn't think that until. Um, we started to see some of this buying come come in here, like this one here especially, and then then we thought, well, okay, yeah, now they can break it, right? It's, it, it's a different. Um, let me let me if I can show the the low volume pullback, that will probably um, you know that'll do it justice here, and this is a bigger low volume pullback. Uh, it's this pullback here. Okay. Look at the selling. It's, it's really simple stuff. Uh, you, you know, so here's our pullback here. And the, look at the buying that came in here to move it back up here. Okay, look at the selling it took to move this lower. So we just look, we just look for it. Okay, you can come up and test these areas here, but we're looking for exhaustion on the buy side uh, more supply up here uh, and uh, for sellers to come in and and try to retest some of the lows or swing lows in here and now th this got upended here now and, and we we saw it it it, it we, weren't, we weren't quite too sure uh, once this buying started to come in here like they, they can break it then Yeah, well, a few things, Alan. On that, you said uh, five points. Uh, uh, looking for five points in the S and P. I mean, in this environment, that's pretty good. Um, our, no, I shouldn't say that. In this environment, um, you know, five points is easy. Uh, you know, in other other times when it's less volatile, uh, five points can be can be challenging. Two points, uh, you know, a point and a half, something like that, is easy, easier. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I hear you guys, like, uh, we're looking for, um, some of these swings in here, um, and going through five points or, or whatnot. Uh, this is, um, uh, um, I think it's the way I'm presenting it though. Uh, in fact, um, you know, this is one of the advantage, really, really nice things that you guys are getting with Tom, uh, in his room. Uh, is he's he's there for hours, right? We're we're not uh, for the uh, advanced webinar. I, I I can't. I I don't have hours to do. I wish I could. I I would love to do it. 
I'd love to be in here for hours. Um, I only have a certain amount of time and I need to go through things. So that's why the, looking at these kinds of looking for higher probability moves, I try to go through as many as I can. But when we see these other moves, though, uh, and, and continuation, like, like in crude, it just, okay, well, let them bash around in here. But we're looking for 105 uh, based on what we saw in here. And it, it came just shy of it. So and look at the sellers now trying, they're trying to, to, again, you know, move this lower here. They're testing it. And this is a lot of sell volume in here, right? They're trying to move it away uh, from where these buyers took control. Can you see, you can see the battle in here, right? At our pivot line here at 104. Right? But in here, I, you know, so it's like, well, okay, let them play their games, but we're still we know that buyers are in control and this is this was a you know almost a dollar move in, in crude which is good oh thanks alec yeah no, i appreciate it i i'm just trying to say that that you know the order flow works on all time frames um it it um sometimes it's really clear on uh, on higher time frames during these webinars uh, other times it's not uh, we're kind of waiting for it like you know on the higher time frame i think this s p to be honest this this was pretty telling in here when we saw this come in but boy we're waiting and watching and it just went back and forth in here and, and just battled um and then uh, we got some of the clarity here and then we're looking for the continuation and i'm still looking for continuation in here just look at all of this bs in here Right. Even this BS in here, like, you know, who's in control still? It's sellers. And it's from this point on. We do see some buying back up above it here. So buyers, you know, they're they're really playing with it here. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if we can get our buyers back up above it, then, yeah, look out. They'll come right back up into these areas here. We're, we're back down, though, right now. OK, so again, we, we can look at a new pivot in here right here where the buyers took it we're looking for sellers below it and you can see it even in this little range in here this is a high volume node right here it's a little bit below our line or just right around it yeah about around 32 and drew the line at 32 and a half so just you know let's go through a volume profile concept in here well is it you know it's it's bouncing above the the um, uh, high volume node so you know buyers and this is where they came in and they're you know on this small time frame they, they took control of it higher time frame though like you know well at least from this time frame here you, you can see that these these sellers in here they they remain in control but the the buyers they try to get above this cluster they did get above this cluster here okay so anyway um from 40 or you know 37 like these two areas in here it's kind of a zone uh and they remain in control still okay so now i'm looking for these sell these buyers in here i want to see them get up ended and i'm looking for our sellers let's see if we get it on this rotation because we've gone back and forth here a lot so now I'm looking for another uh, move in the market. Looking for our sellers. No, nothing yet. Nothing at all. Look at that down here. That's not what we want to see. Yeah, not at all. Okay, looking better. Okay, we don't like seeing sellers up here. Don't like it. Like they can get um, uh, squeezed really easily here. Yeah, we have European close coming up. You know, 
we can go we can start to go through some scenarios here for these um uh you know these traders in in europe and you know let's let's zoom out here a little bit you know what are they what are they going to do where are they positioned maybe we need a little bit more data in here a little backfill data let's try that Yeah, I mean, I would still say, like, you know, the, the, we saw the move away here on the strong selling, and we, we remain sell side here, okay, on this on this higher time frame. And we can also look at uh, our 15-minute chart and our hour chart, even our daily chart. Rejection up here around this, um, boy, it went as high as 94, something like that, 95, uh, and then rejected. So we're looking for continuation. And where might it go here? It's kind of tested that little bump in there. Uh, maybe it can go a little bit lower. But yeah, I'm looking forward to test retest these swing lows here from the uh, Euro European uh, session here. Yeah, so these, these lows down here are 25. Is that it? 25? I guess so. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Good morning, Tom. Late to the party. Um, yeah, really tricky uh, environment so far. A few nice moves, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we we're just just looking at that um, forty-three kind of twenty-five-ish area. Uh, we we liked uh, twenty and then also ten on the higher time frame, but uh, no liquidity down here at ten, but definitely at twenty which looks good. Uh, let's go back to crude and see what, what it's doing here. Yeah, I'm just bouncing, bouncing off of this kind of one, we, our second line that we drew up here. Right down here, so it, it bounced off of that one. Oh, this is a beautiful pivot there, below 104, and then they hit it. All right, let's go back to this ES and see what's happening here. Boy, buyers are they're trying I mean they're really just they keep trying here um, and uh, they're, they're getting some headway they're able to get back up above some of that selling here back up into this area here where it kind of dropped from in here you know still the, the, the area dropped from in here is it, yeah you know we, we can look right at it visually and we know 
that uh, you know they bought here and they and they pounded it down below here but most of the volume is here right and they're trying to upend them that's what it looks like here so now I'm looking for sellers. Oh, here we go. Now this could be nice here. If we can get our sellers deck down around this around this 3750, 37 area here, we see our big sell dots here. We, we, we got we got the move. Okay, now the order book here, let's see if we get any help from this order book. Okay, we're back down at 37. We're looking for a seller to pound it through here, back down to 30, then 22 and 20. nothing in fact support on uh, on the bid here and a little bit of a little bit of buying all right here we go sellers hit it and let's see 30 here some liquidity coming in just around 32 Come on, sellers. Let's see it. Let's see it. You know, in, in this kind of environment here, it's, it's really, it, it's tricky. I mean, we're not getting much from the order book. And then it's, it's kind of a leap of faith here. Do you want to take a shot at it on, on uh, you know, how do you, how do you manage a trade like this? Um, you know, I, I think, I mean, it, it's tricky. Uh, you, you can get lots of sharp little cuts all day long trying to catch these. You know, for the trying to get that breakdown trade. I mean, maybe maybe the strategy is on 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 days like this though. Like either really pull back on your trading. Um, maybe don't trade. Uh, maybe trade higher time frame with smaller size. Uh, and and with larger stops like you know if you're in if you if you if you grab this to the downside i mean your stop would have to be up here somewhere that's a pretty big stop i mean you know like like 13 points or whatever from where price is you know if you got in here well yeah I mean, it's not it's not that bad i guess but um and maybe maybe it took some off Maybe it didn't, but because uh, it looks like it should be a strong move in continuation. But if that's the case, then you're you know you're just not worried about it. You're you're just letting it work out here. So a few different ways to to look at this. Um, other ways also like uh, what Alec and um, uh, someone else had mentioned in here. I think Chris. Uh, yeah, take your five points and move on. You know, looking looking for these sellers right here, right now. They should be able to hit this 32. Okay, it should be high probability. Right here they come, looking for the move to 32. If they get to 32, they should be able to hit 30. The liquidity's been in here for a while. Okay, here's here's a little bit of supply. Let's see if buyers react to that. Not really. More selling. Okay, sellers should be able to hit 30. We're already at 32. So uh, lots of different strategies. Um, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be those five points uh, that you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, Tom, I, I like that outside in, um, especially like, uh, you know, something like this here um, and, and trade through it too, you know, from the outside in and then to the other side of the range and then maybe even continuation. 
uh, as long as you're going with the, the bigger trend, I, I think that it, it, it's possible, you know. Uh, as a counter trend trade, I, it, I mean, it could happen, but yeah, less less likely. So, Alec, you can see, I mean, like it, even this, this it didn't get down to 30. Uh, this was would be a three-point trade, basically, down to 32, which was our first first area we we're looking for. Um, I'm surprised they didn't get down to 30 yet. And let's look at the let's look at this volume in here too. Is it a low volume pullback? <laughs> it's just not really telling us much. It's not, it's not a low volume pullback. They didn't really drive it away here. All right, so this is what looked like they're gonna drive away. It, it, you can see how muddled it is in here. Like, we, we don't have that kind of clarity in this move. And right, so the, 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 the fighting here, uh, back and forth, trying to determine who's in control, I think. Yeah, strange environment. Um, but uh, you know, look when you when you don't get the clarity, then like, you know, don't trade. At least on these, you know, you you can trade your higher time frame. You can trade many different ways. Uh, uh, and and again, these aren't recommendations. It's just uh, uh, considerations for um, you know trying to um, bring order flow within your trading um, your trading style and then how to read it how to look for something that's going to be higher probability uh, and um, yeah I mean it, this move back up above like uh, well you know th this was kind of the the pivot line here we're looking for the move below it and the sellers to, to continue to hit the bid here uh, and then look at the volume in here, and the, and the dots in here. It's not, it's not that it's not that uh, clear. It's not that kind of move we're looking for. In fact, this is it right here. We're actually looking for you know on buy side. This is better. And looking for the move back up, not just to 40 here. They maybe they can get back up even higher here. This is another thing about your your volume profile uh, in in these areas here. Well, they, you know, they got it. They're trying to move it away from it, right? They're they're through it. They're trying to move it away from it on size. Well, they traded back to it, and we know it's not a vol low low volume pullback here. We and we retested this twice now. If we can get buyers back up above here, and and they're starting to get some size, they're going to be able to pull it away and move it back up to here. Maybe this small profile up here. Okay, so let's see if they've already gotten there to 42. Now, uh, almost, almost. Yeah, that liquidity up here. Yeah, it, it's up to you how you want to trade these kinds of environments. It, it really is. Um, you know, a lot of times traders like FT71, he, you know, it, he doesn't uh, take the smaller profits. In fact, he'll, he'll just trade less, but um, widen out the stops a lot more. Look for the bigger moves uh, and then continuations. And, and let it kind of work within those those zones in those areas. Okay, so here we go again, back down to the middle 
of this range here. Now, let's see if do we get this kind of move here. Sellers moving it away from the most traded level in here. Or this, or this, it's not the most traded, but this, this profile here, this high volume node. It takes volume to move it away. Are they going to come in? Are they going to do it? Starting to. Looks pretty good. Off to a good start here. Okay. Yeah, even more here. All right. They should be able to do it. They've got enough here. We got an iceberg on the other side buying this. Interesting. Look at this dynamic here. This is fantastic. All right. So, yeah, this kind of negates it. Like, uh, unless we, we come back down here, we don't see this iceberg buying again. Then we're looking for a continuation here. But look at how tricky this is. You know, sellers, 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 all being absorbed. And we don't even see high liquidity in here. We see some, but it's an iceberg on the other side. So they're buying in all of these little areas here, right? That just, you know, if we can get through it though, if we can get, if, we, if the selling pressure can get through it, look out. You know, then we'll, we'll get our move to the downside here. But they, they buoyed this market up here. Yeah, let's see if they do it here. Or there, is this iceberg going to continue to buy? Yeah, yeah, it's still bought. Okay, but the sellers were able to get through it here. All right, let's see it. And then sellers should be able to hit 32 again and then 30. They're, they're trying to move it away here on size. Uh, and I don't like the selling in here either, to be honest. This was a stop run. And then where's the selling down here, right? This this brings up this kind of environment. They'll come right back up and squeeze. They should be able to do it. I mean, we one thing that uh, didn't mention that, that there was another stop run here and, and also iceberg buying that, that, that context and relationship yet again. And then we don't have selling down here. That's where we need to see it and for that continuation. Tough, tough day. Okay, selling down below here, small stop run. This is new selling though. All right, so they should be able to move it. They should be able to hit 30. Okay, that looks that looks a lot better. This is more insight here. Now we might get a pullback here, but you know, once that selling starts to continue, uh, we just look for it to continue to go. Uh, we, we won't get a pullback. Looking for 30, and then looking for well, our, our 25 and, and our 20 levels. And we're talking about there we go. There's 25 or 30. I'm sorry. Okay, this looks good. This is our European close as well. Um, and looking for a continuation here. Okay, sellers moving it away now. Uh, trying to move it away on some size here. Got a lot of iceberg buying in here. Boy, I, I'd still say even, you know, careful here. Look at where this selling came in down here. We want to see it all the way through here again. They can get upended here. Okay, retest right back up. Yeah, I don't like it. Just a odd, odd order flow today, guys. Um, I, I'm going to, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, Tom will uh, get a good move here. Uh, we'll see the uh, the continuation and a, and a decision here um, uh, by the market and which direction it wants to go here. But uh, yeah, it's just been real, really choppy in here uh, so far. Let's see. Let me get through a few more questions, and then um, yeah, David, let's see three twenty, three twenty six. Lots of ice. Okay. Okay, we're getting down to the lows here. 
okay, in our 320 levels down below here. Sellers are moving it. Sellers seem to be moving it here. I, this is way more consistent here. Not this one, this one. Okay. I want to see more continuation. I want to see these sellers again hit it hard here. I, I don't like seeing them down at the bottom here. I, I, want to, I want to see, again, consistent, strong selling. Not selling at the bottom, and then you know they can get upended here. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day. Um, European close just um, uh, happening now. So, uh, looking for continuation here after the uh, the close, right? Maybe this is we've just seen all of this back and forth in here. Now maybe we can get that continuation that we're look we were looking for for the entire session. We're starting to get it. I mean, here they come. Look at the selling coming in now. Okay, and that's a lot better. This this is this is good in here, right? And it's moving away here. So it looks like we're just about to hit our twenty level and and continue, um, guys. All right. So uh, yeah, thanks for bearing bearing with it here. But look for this uh, continuation uh, in the next session. Um, have a good day, everybody, and uh, we will uh, catch up tomorrow with uh, with J Trader. Uh, for the first 15 minutes or so, I'll be in, uh, and then uh, look for for J Trader. Um, finally, getting down to this uh, this 20 level, guys. So uh, just one more peek at our higher time frame. Yeah, looking for 10, and then boy, this could be a really nice break below here. So keep your eyes open for this one. Even on this. Even on this view here, it made a lower high and a lower low here. And we also know our daily chart, rejection up here, and we're down here. I'm looking for continuation on all, all of these time frames here, on our higher time frames. Uh, and then uh, we're looking for it in the order flow. And man, was it choppy until until right now, basically. So, uh, all right, guys, let's we'll wrap it up and uh, take it away, Tom. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.